Hey guys, this is Andrew and I'm just doing a voice update. Uh, today was my first day on tea. This is Drew and this is my voice 70 days on testosterone. Hey guys, uh, this is Drew and uh, today is officially 70 days on testosterone or two months and 11 days. Um, I just kind of wanted to do an update. Uh, I haven't done one in a while. I did a voice update. Uh, sorry, a voice update the other day, but I um, just want to kind of go over some changes I've been noticing and then uh, kind of talk about some things that have been frustrating me and then talk about some awesome news. Uh, so changes, obviously my voice is different. Um, <laughs> I still think that mostly it just sounds sick, uh, but it's definitely a deeper sick. <laughs> so that um, can't really notice much of a change other than it sounding a little raspier. Unless you listen to the, like, like first day on T voice to now. Um, I have noticed that my voice is starting to uh, crack here and there. And it's usually when I'm trying to make my voice carry. So when I'm, like, yelling across a room or something. So that's pretty embarrassing. Hope that doesn't go on for too much longer. Uh, let's see. The biggest change I've been noticing that I hate, like, just hate it, um is my facial skin feels different. Uh, I'm not sure if it's because I'm losing weight um, or I don't know what's happening, uh, but it just looks saggier and like wrinklier and I, I just feel like I'm starting to look like an old dude. It sucks. Um, and you know, I, I feel like I'm getting like jowls here, kind of. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, but uh, I did I do remember when my mom was sick, uh, she had to be on um, steroids for, I don't remember what, but uh, I, I remember they made her face kind of jowly, and I'm like, oh my god, I hope this goes away or something. I hope it's not just my lot in life, because that, that would suck. <laughs> um, uh, other stuff, muscle growth, I've been noticing a lot of that still, Just I, and I've been super lazy lately, if I'm being honest. like. I have been traveling for work and have not been working out at all, so need to change that. Um, but uh, I have noticed I'm still losing weight. I don't know what the deal is about. Like I, my appetite is through the roof, and I'm eating all day, but my metabolism must just be shooting up too. So I'm pretty much exactly where I was when I started tea, and that sucks. <laughs> I'm trying not to look like a 12 year old boy over here, and it's not working. Um, so, some frustrations I am having. The biggest one lately, so I tried, I, I went and had a consult for top surgery with a surgeon here in Denver uh, who takes my insurance because it would be like almost nothing out of pocket for me at this point because I've almost met my deductible. Um, it was hands down one of the worst experiences of my entire life. Uh, yeah, I, they put me in a room and forgot about me for 45 minutes. Like, <laughs> 45 minutes later, a girl walks in and was like, oh, so are you ready to check out? And I was like, uh, I haven't seen the doctor. And she's like, I thought he had already been in here. So another 20 minutes goes by and he comes in finally. Uh, so, yeah, that, um, I don't know. And when he finally came in, he, like, started to explain the procedure to me and, uh, <laughs> He uh, stated that a lot of times uh, there's not a lot of blood supply to the grafted on nipple and so it dies and falls off. And I was like, what do you mean a lot of times? Like how many times does that happen? He's like, 50-50. Uh, He's like, we, and I mean general we as in plastic surgeons, haven't quite gotten the nipples down yet. And I was like, uh, that is not true. Sorry, that's just not a real thing. Uh, then he showed me he only had two picture or two uh, patients to show me for results, and he showed me one good one uh, and one bad one where the nipple was falling off. So his good one was terrible. It was like janky ass crooked scars that like I don't know. I can't even tell you. It was just bad. The nipples looked terrible, and then on the other one, one of the nipples was falling off, and I like you couldn't get me out of that room effing fast enough. So then they take me in to talk to the lady about insurance and she refuses to tell me what my out-of-pocket costs would be even though they have my insurance information. Uh, she's like, you need to call them. And I was like, I, I don't have procedure codes. Like, they won't tell me what it's going to cost if they don't know what I'm having done. I don't know what to give them. 
So it was super unhelpful. I just ended up walking out. I was like, I will never recommend you guys to anybody. I'm not going to say who it was. I don't, in case somebody's gone there, but never, ever will that ever happen. Um, so we're kind of back to the drawing board when it comes to top surgery. I'm still leaning towards Dr. Garamoni in Florida. Uh, Amber and I are kind of aiming towards like October-ish, November-ish, probably October. Um, I think I need to be on T for at least six months, so that would be around that time frame. Still not quite there with the fund. Uh, so I'm going to, this is what my idea has been for fundraising. Um, I really want to do t-shirts. Um, I am not a creative human, <laughs> so I'm kind of putting a challenge out there to anybody, my friends or otherwise, who uh, has ideas for, I, I would like it to be kind of PC uh, because I would like my family to want to support the shirt, um, but yeah, if anybody has any um, creative ideas for t-shirt designs that they want to send my way, I was thinking that... Um, just sign your picture so that your signature's on there. Everybody knows that's your work, and I would put that on the t-shirt with your design and then uh, do, like, a feature um, for you as an artist for that shirt, uh, and then I would sell them uh, to try and get uh, more funds for my top surgery. But that way, I'm not just asking people for money. I'm actually giving them something in return for their donation. Um, and I think it would just be awesome to have uh, people like design something specifically for me. So if you, anybody is interested in that, please, uh, you can direct message me. You can uh, hit me up on Facebook or if you've got my, my phone number, you can shoot me a text. But I would love to see designs from people that I know. So if you've got ideas uh, for something witty for uh, top surgery or just something political or uh, just something funny like I'm totally down I would love to see what everybody has so I'm kind of putting a challenge out there to my friends help me out here uh, and that could be your donation to my top surgery fund that would be awesome uh, it would mean the world to me and I think it would be cool to see your artwork out on my friends and family and stuff so yeah um, if anybody's got ideas please shoot them my way I would love it uh, and you know I'd like to pick a few designs to make shirts out of so uh, yeah uh, toss me your stuff if you've got something uh, in the news department, <laughs> uh, I had my hysterectomy console on April 13th, which was also my girlfriend's birthday, so happy birthday, babe. Um, so now I have an appointment for hysterectomy on, uh, May 19th, so it'll be, I'm gonna be in the hospital overnight, um, and he said probably back on my feet within the next couple of days after that, and, uh, just no lifting and stuff like that, um. I did kind of talk to him about my past um, complications that I've had with all my lady parts, and uh, he said that based on that, he would have recommended it anyways. At my age, there's just no reason not to go ahead with it. Uh, so, yeah, so that's exciting. Um, there's a small possibility that I might have to use a little of the money from the GoFundMe um, to cover my fee, my part of the fees, which isn't going to be much, but at that point, I'll have my deductible covered and Hopefully I can find a top surgeon that will take my insurance and then it'll be almost almost all covered So I'll keep you guys updated as far as the GoFundMe goes um, Might have to change that a little not sure uh, But yeah, I will obviously keep you guys updated with that And I just want to thank you guys who have all donated to that because it's already going towards something that like my body needs And that will make me feel a lot better so thank you so much like <laughs> Uh, th this has been unexpected and, um, the hysterectomy and I, it's just, I'm really excited that it's happening. It's, uh, gonna make my quality of life a lot better. So, um, once again, thank you to everyone who shared and, uh, donated to my GoFundMe. You know, I check that thing every now and again to see how many Facebook shares and stuff I have and it's always going up and I'm just like really, really thankful to you guys for spreading the word because I, you know, I couldn't do this without you and... Um, I, you know, it just means the world to me. Um, let's see. So, how I've been feeling lately, um, I'm starting to feel a lot better emotionally, I would notice, and a lot more even. Uh, I think that we finally kind of gotten my testosterone dose to a pretty awesome level, where I'm just feeling consistent in my moods, which is great. 
So I'm on 0.3 cc's every week. Uh, my days are Sundays. Occasionally, that I have to switch that around. Like I this week, I'm tra I'm traveling to Minneapolis for work, and I don't want to travel with my testosterone if I don't have to. So I'll leave on Saturday. We'll probably do my shot Friday night because I leave at 4 a.m. on Saturday. So uh, yeah. Uh, testosterone levels have been awesome. I haven't had an appointment with my endocrinologist um, in a while, so not since my last video. So once I have that, um, I will let you guys know if there's any changes going on with that or anything. Um, occasionally I've felt a little lonely in my transition, which is just ridiculous because I have a, a silly amount of support. It's just been awesome. But I don't know if it's like a dysphoria thing where... I'm like having a hard time putting into words how I'm feeling or I'm not sure what it is but I've definitely even though I have so much support and like my friends and family you know are like really trying to get my pronouns down and like you know figure out what it is that I'm feeling um I still occasionally just feel very lonely and I don't know if that's something that most guys feel I just don't talk about all that often but uh yeah um occasionally I just feel very alone even though my partner is the most supportive person so there's absolutely no reason for me to feel like that and I yeah so working on <laughs> not having pity parties for myself um because all of this has just been awesome I'm like so excited to share it all with you guys I'm so excited you guys are all along uh for the ride so thank you so much for your support thanks for watching these videos and sharing those and uh, please continue to share my GoFundMe or my videos or whatever it is that you want to do. And like I said, if you've got ideas for shirts or buttons or whatever, please send them my way. I would love it. I w it would seriously just like make my day. So yeah, um, thank you guys again for listening to the video and watching the video. Um, and thanks for keeping an eye on my GoFundMe and for being there to support me through everything. It's been an awesome experience and it just keeps getting better. So, uh, yeah, if you guys have any advice, uh, if you've got any artistic, uh, stuff you want to toss my way for the shirts, I'd love it. Uh, I'd love to hear from you guys. So, um, yeah, I will talk to you guys soon. I'll keep you updated in probably a few weeks. All right. Bye.